The Delete Items by Hit List tool. This is a utility for deleting holdings that is fast and efficient. The Delete Items from Hit List tool enables you to scan large numbers of barcodes into a hit file that can then be batch deleted. To access this tool, go to the Administration tab, Reports and Tools, the Tools section, and choose Delete Items from Hit List. Libraries often use this tool in conjunction with library weeding projects, removing large amounts of damaged items, old issues of serials, magazines, etc. To create a text file of barcodes, or what is called in Opals a hit file, simply open the window accessory program called Notepad and scan the barcodes into Notepad. As you scan, you will see them adding to the file in a column, one barcode per line. For accessibility, it's a good idea to move Notepad onto your desktop. Save the file using a meaningful name such as Deletes October 2017, 2017 Weeding Project, a call number range, or any name that identifies the scanned barcodes in the file. Note that once you have run the process and have deleted the items, you can delete the file of barcodes. I suggest holding on to the file for a short period or until you have run the deleted items report. Running this report is especially helpful if there are scanned barcodes that do not correspond to your database. You can compare the file of scanned barcodes with the deleted items report to identify those barcodes. You may use any word processor, but always make sure you have saved the file as a DOS text or ASCII file or it will not be readable by the Delete by Hit List tool. If you use the Notepad text editor, it will work perfectly as Notepad creates text files by default. Here is what the file will look like in Notepad. I have created a file of items in Notepad to be deleted and will now upload them into the tool for deletion. Once again, to access this tool, go to the Administration tab, Reports and Tools, Tools section, and choose Delete Items from Hit List. I will now process the file by clicking Upload Barcodes. Find the file and then click the Add button. Items to be deleted are noted in a small report window once you have added the file. If there are any barcodes in the file that do not correspond to your database, these will be shown in the small report window as well. These could be books from another library, a misread from the scanning process, items that have been deleted but are still on the shelves, etc. Barcodes that do not correspond to your database can be found later if you run a deleted items report and compare that report to your scanned barcode file. More on this later in the clip. Close the small report window by clicking the X top right. You will see a listing that corresponds to your file of scanned barcodes on the right side below the delete button. Click the delete button to delete the items and finish the deletion process. The items have been deleted. A small report window opens showing the number of items deleted. X out to close the window. Often libraries will follow the batch delete process by running the deleted items report. To run the deleted items report, go to the Administration tab, Reports and Tools, Far Left Item Statistics Reports, and choose Deleted Items Report. You can run the report on the same day that you have deleted your items or at any other time as the Delete Items Report has a date range option. In addition, this report can be printed or saved as a CSV spreadsheet file. I will open the Deleted Items Report and will run the report on the same date as I ran the process of deleting the items. You can, of course, run this at a later date and run all deletes or those that have been deleted in a particular date range. Put a check mark 
next to historical statistics, and then a check mark for the date range selection. Today's date will come up by default. Once you have chosen your date, click Create Report. You will see that once the report is run, it shows the items deleted, and you can then export this report to a CSV spreadsheet or print the report to a hard copy. You can use this report along with your barcode file to identify any barcodes that did not correspond to your data. Again, books from other libraries, scanner misreads, etc. The report is also helpful as often libraries archive deleted items reports for boards, administrators, etc. To create the report, choose Select All and choose Export to CSV. You can save this report in the folder that has your scan files for easy access. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and additional documentation for deleting items by hit list can be found in the tools section of the Opal's help site, help.opalsinfo.net. Thank you.